Ah, hello student, today we are going to learn pressure exerted by the gas and also we are going to learn what is a kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is equal to 3 by 2 kT. Before we learned kinetic energy is of mv square. Here kinetic theory of the gas we are going to learn kinetic theory is the kinetic energy is a 3 by 2 kT. So this equation is equal to of mv square. Today we are going to learn how to derive this equation. So I am taken per unit volume on cuboid I am taken so length breadth height is equal I consider as a one cuboid okay so now in this cuboid so lot of particle will be there so lot of particle will be there it will be moving in a random motion so all the particle will be moving or vibrating in a random motion so I am going to start with the equation see here first I am going to show you one equation area velocity into change in time so velocity will take it only in a x axis i'll tell you why i am taking x axis afterwards okay so area velocity into change in time period what what is this it's going to be a volume so before we learned volume is a length into breadth into height in this concept i learned volume is the area into velocity into changing time so area just we will be doing with the unit so area is a meter square velocity is a meter per second into second 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 get cancelled it's going to be meter cube so this fully it's going to represent as a volume area velocity into time period i'll tell you this is a uh, average drift velocity and drift velocity is the average velocity between the two successive collision because the the particle is moving in a random motion when the particle is colliding with one each other okay so when it is colliding with one each other uh, so it will get some uh, relaxation time that is a try that is a time that is the distance we are taken mean free path and also that is a velocity we are going to take it as a drift velocity so area velocity and time period is equal to volume that we we'll learn now the next thing n small n small n is a capital n divided by v capital v capital v i am taken volume capital n is a number of particles so small n is going to represent number of particles per unit volume number of particles per unit volume so in this per unit volume how many particles is there no that i am taken as a small n n is the number of particles v is the volume so now i am going to make it this two equation together small n times of a vx del t so this is equal to this fully volume this is number of uh, particles per unit volume so uh, it is uh, capital n divided by volume into volume 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 get cancelled this is going to give us the number of particle present in a that particular place so now we have the equation number of particle present in a particular place yeah then momentum change in momentum is equal to final momentum minus initial momentum this we can consider as a equation one okay it is it is representing as a number of particles that's it so change in momentum final momentum minus initial momentum final momentum mv minus initial momentum mu so here we have the cuboid like this we have cuboid like this so i consider only in a x axis so only in a x direction the particle is moving and hitting the wall and it's coming back so going is a u velocity and coming back is a v velocity going i am taken positive coming back i am taken as a negative and it's not going to be increase or decrease the velocity because the momentum is conserved so v is equal to u and also going is positive coming back is a negative i am taken so v will be the negative so minus mv minus mu so u we learned it is called uh, v m is equal to <coughs> v is equal to u so minus mv minus mv so we'll get xx minus 2 times of mv it is going to be the change in momentum so this is the momentum is going to produce due to the uh, particle on the wall okay so the particle when it is sitting on the wall this is a momentum change in momentum is going to produce okay the wall also going to express in the momentum that i am taken is the 
positive momentum neither be create nor be destroy okay <coughs> it is conserved one more thing if you are taken initial velocity as a negative take it final velocity as a positive only the direction this side if you are taken negative this side you will take it positive so that is the time you will get momentum as a positive sign okay it's not a matter you are using positive or negative so finally you have to use the momentum is a 2mv okay next thing this is for single particle i am taken here we have n number of particle already we have equation 1 n number of particles how many number of particles it's going to be collide so we have the equation that i am going to write here n a v x so i am taken only in x direction change in time into two times of m v x velocity in x direction it is going to be represent momentum small p i am taken momentum capital p i am taken pressure pressure like this i am going to write okay momentum like this i am going to write okay this is momentum so momentum with n number of particles i am taken so momentum with n number of particles and also we have x axis one wall is this side another wall is this side okay i am taken only right side wall so we have two sides for the x i am taken only one side so because of it i am going to divide it by 2 so change in momentum is equal to like this 2 to get cancel so change in momentum small p is equal to n a v x square m like this will get as a change in momentum according to newton second law according to the newton second law uh, it is change in momentum change in momentum rate of change of momentum is equal to force so change in momentum is equal to force into change in time so finally we will get force is uh, change in momentum by change in time period already we know momentum so this what we have the momentum so n a v x square m change in time divided by change in time so time time get cancel so we got force as a n a v x square m now what is the pressure pressure is equal to force per unit area pressure is equal to force per unit area i know what is force force is n a v x square m divided by a a a get cancel so pressure is equal to n m v x square it is a pressure exerted on the uh, particles okay so we have only x axis velocity so we know resolution component resultant average velocity is the velocity of x axis plus velocity of y axis plus velocity of z axis it's a square square times in case all three velocity will be equal so we will be taken three times of velocity in x axis is equal to average velocity so it's square times so this three i am bringing as a denominator so we'll get velocity in x axis is average velocity it's overall velocity before we are given only in x axis now i am calculating overall velocity divided by 3 so like this we'll get vx value so pressure is equal to n m velocity average still small velocity it is a velocity only divided by 3 like this we'll get okay now small n small n is equal to capital n divided by v number of particles per unit volume so number of particles per unit volume capital v uh, m small v is the velocity capital v is the volume so is equal to pressure it's a pressure exerted on the gas per unit volume okay now this volume i am taken this side so 3 also i am taken that side 3 p v is equal to n m velocity average square velocity average square this what we'll get now of mv square we are going to get kinetic energy so we have only mv square as a formula so we need of so left hand side of you can multiple right hand side of you can multiple same terms you can left hand side and right hand side multiple multiplication division addition subtraction whatever you want you can do 3 p v divided by 2 is equal to n m v square 
divided by 2. This n also I am bringing this side. So, 3 p v divided by 2 n is equal to of m v square. So, this we are going to take it as a kinetic energy. So, kinetic energy is equal to kinetic energy is equal to 3 by 2 p v divided by n. We know already formula p v is equal to mu r t pressure volume pressure we can take it like this so pressure we can take it like this it, this everything is a pressure so pressure pressure is a force per unit volume so from force per unit volume from here i am taken as the pressure okay pressure is a force per unit volume yeah so this is the continuous pressure into volume is equal to mu r t so, instead of writing this equation, you can write as a, this one. So, kinetic energy is equal to 3 by 2 mu RT divided by N. This whole thing is going to give us a Boltzmann constant. 3 by 2 Boltzmann constant into temperature. So, kinetic energy is equal to, we learned previously of mv square. In this chapter, kinetic energy is going to be 3 by 2 kT. Okay, K is a Boltzmann constant, T is a temperature. Thank you for watching my video. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Thank you.